January 17th. January, I said in January. On January 30th. A lot. A lot. And in fact, we'll give you a list. What we did, in fact, part of it was 14,000 who are sick. Millions, as you witnessed, who are scared right now. What do you say to Americans who are watching you right now who are scared? I say that you're a terrible reporter. That's what I say. Right. I think it's a very nasty question, and I think it's a very bad signal that you're putting out to the American people. The American people are looking for answers, and they're looking for hope. And you're doing sensationalism. You said repeatedly that you think that some of the equipment that governors are requesting, they don't actually need. You said New York might need, I, not, I might not so. need 30,000. So. You said it on I Sean so. Hannity's on. Fox News. Come you said you know, that you don't, might... Why don't you some, people act? Let, let me ask you. You said why some don't state... You act, why don't you act in a little more positive? It's always trying to My get question you. to you Get is, you, get you. And you know what? That's why nobody trusts the media anymore. My That's question to you is, how is that going to impact? Excuse me, you didn't hear me. That's why you used to work for the Times, and now you work for somebody else. Look, let me tell you something. Be nice. Don't Mr. Be President, threatening. my question Don't is... Don't be threatening. Talking about governors of different states, and you said, I want them to be appreciative. Uh, you also said, if they don't treat you right, I, I don't that. call. I uh, these are direct, no, direct quotes, a, sir. Excuse me, ready? 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 Take a look at what it said. I want them to be appreciative of me. Okay. And then you cut it off because it's fake news. You and of your administration. Listen, just, please, let me just finish. You just said it again, and you know the answer's a lie. You know, I could read you your full comments. Let, sir, let me just say, look, your statement and your response and your answer is a lie. Read the red, the rest of your question, the rest of your statement. You didn't put in. You have to put that in. And it's said in there, FEMA, and it's said in their Army Corps of Engineers, because when they disrespect me, they're disrespecting our government. And you know what? I don't mind if I'm disrespected, but they can't disrespect the Army Corps of Engineers and FEMA. Okay. Why is the lack of a Please go ahead. Good to see it. What do you say to Americans who are upset with you over the way you downplayed this crisis over the last couple of months? Uh, we have it very much under control in this country. The coronavirus is very much under control in the USA. It's going to disappear. It's like a miracle. It will disappear. March 4th, uh, we have a very small number of people in this country infected. March 10th, we're prepared, we're doing a great job with it. It will go away, just stay calm, it will go away. What do you well, say to Americans who believe that you got this wrong? I, instead of asking a nasty, snarky question like that, you should ask a real question. And other than that, I'm going to go to somebody else. Please. Mr. President, you said several times that the United States has ramped up testing, but the United States is still not testing per capita as many res as many people as other countries like South Korea. Why is that? And when do you think that that number will be on par with other countries? Yeah, well, and it's, it's very much on par. The, the, look, 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 per capita, we have areas of country that's very wide. I know South Korea better than anybody. It's a very tight. Do you know how many people are in Seoul? Do you, do you know how big the city of Seoul is? 38 million people. That's bigger than anything we have. 38 million people all tightly wound together. 
We have vast farmlands. We have vast areas where they don't have much of a problem. In some cases, they have no problem whatsoever. You said when someone is president of the United States, their authority is total. That is not true. Who, who okay, told you? You know what we're going to do? We're going to write up papers on this. It's not going to be necessary because the governors need us one way or the other because ultimately it comes with the federal government. That being said, we're getting along very well with the governors and I feel very certain that uh, there won't be a problem. Yeah, please, governor, go ahead. Has any governor agreed that you have the authority to decide when their state I haven't asked up? anybody. Because I don't, no you know why? Because I don't have to. Go ahead, please. But who told you the president has the total authority? Enough.